the government was to show that it was serious about this crisis, I think it would not make any tax cuts in the coming budget and it would put that money into investing in local authorities to build social housing and I think Fianna Fáil should agree to that and push for that. How are we Mm. giving tax cuts away when we've over 3,700 children homeless? I think it's immoral um, and wrong. Secondly, it would set up a semi-state uh, cost rental housing agency which the, the NESC uh, suggested in 2014 it's been sitting there as an idea why hasn't it been done it should be done to build not 100 or 200 but 10,000 affordable houses each year um, and it would implement I think the issue again about the private tenant uh, the private rental sector is really the rents is one thing but the lack of security of tenure it would implement change the rules whereby a landlord can evict a tenant whatever uh, now it's 150 days notice but on the basis of sale of property because there's another tsunami of uh, homelessness coming from the buy to let sector. There's um, over 10 to 15,000 properties where tenants are in place that are, could be repossessed in the coming years in the rental sector by receivers where receivers in place. Also it would get NAMA to actually stop uh, selling its um, housing. It's going to build and provide 20,000 houses in the coming years. It's going to sell that for the highest price it can get. A state agency pushing up land uh, house prices. We have enough land in Dublin. Uh, the local authorities themselves own enough land to build 20,000 houses across the country to build 40,000 houses. Why is that public land not being used to build affordable housing rather than these crazy schemes which are in rebuilding Ireland, John Paul? If you say that you agree the private sector approach isn't the way to do it, why are you sitting around trying to attract in private investment? Why are you not just setting up a company along with local authorities to because build I, on I that don't, land? I don't fundamentally, I don't fundamentally uh, and this is, goes to the core of our political differences, I would suspect, I don't fundamentally believe that the government is the answer to everything. And I so do it believe... it is ideology. It is ideology. No, it's not. Absolutely. If it's well, that's, about, that's an ideological but, but yes, position. Yes, exactly. And I do believe, I believe passionately so in social that. housing Sitting provision. Idle. But not that the government has to build everything. This thing about the government I'm not creating... Build everything. Crea- I'm saying you've, you've land sitting there. You're talking the about building 20,000 houses in Dublin. I can only talk about what's happening in the last quarter. Commencements are up 40% across this, the state. There's 20% increase in, in the number of planning applications. We've changed the law so that, lo- so that the planning process is more streamlined. And if a development is over a certain size, which is most of the and developments And how much of that centers, new housing go straight. is going to be affordable? How much of that new housing that's going to be built is actually going to be affordable housing for people on an average wage? I don't know. Come on. I might offer a middle ground here.